So while our Blender is rendering, let's go ahead and start our new Premiere project so we'll be ready for those pictures. A uh, good name for a project is always the date, 200305 is today's date. And I'm doing a try thingy spinner and Blender animation and put your name in there too. You always want to browse because the default place is not a good place for you to save your projects. You have to have a Blender Animation Project folder. You'll see I'm going to save my file in there. So I'm selecting that folder and I've given it a good name. And now I'm going to just check the scratch disks. It's always good to make sure that your uh, video previews are not going in with your project. You can always browse to your documents and set it to your scratch folder or make the scratch folder right now if you need to new folder scratch and click OK so we need to uh, import the pictures the first thing you have to do is make sure when you import the pictures that they are not going to last five seconds if I go down here to timeline this used to be under general now it's under timeline you'll see that still image default duration has been set to one frame make sure it's not seconds when you change it to one and premiere makes you do it twice it seems to think that it's better for it to be two frames so you have to go in change it to one click ok go back change the two to a one say ok and then i usually even check it a third time to make sure it is going to do what i want it to which is one frame now let's go ahead and import that folder filled with pictures. File, import, and I'm going to go to not my Blender Animation Project folder. There shouldn't be any pictures in there. Instead, all images should be rendered to Blender Render, and they should be inside of folders. I'm going to start off with a 20% render that I did. It will import very quickly. I'm going to do that so I can show you how easy it is to replace better pic replace this with better pictures. 100% render or 100% render with very high samples, 15 or 20, so your shadows look a lot nicer. So you can always be rendering a better version and easily replace those pictures. Now, I think the best way to go about this next step is to go ahead and make the sequences to put these pictures on. So file, new sequence. And you need to make sure that you're not on any of these others. The default is DVNTSC, an ancient format that really is awful. Instead, we want AVCHD. We're looking for 1080p progressive. It'll look like this. And we want 30 frames per second. Call this first one Blender Object because the pictures of our Blender model are going to go on there. But notice that I was inside the folder filled with pictures. So if I minimize that, then it seems to have disappeared, even though I have the timeline here because I just made it. And if you close it and you need to open it again, you'd have to make remember that it's way down here. So you can just drag it out sometimes, but it may be easier to cut, scroll to the top, and paste. As long as this isn't selected, when you create new ones, they'll just be here at this level. So now that I've got Blender object, notice I'm just opening it up again. You drag your folder filled with pictures over to the Video 1 track. We're only going to have one track in this because its sole job is to play your pictures all in a row. Now it's possible that there could be a bad PNG in here. So once you get down to the exporting point, you're going to need to go sequence and render into out and it'll go through and turn the red line green you do this at the very end and sometimes only if you try to export and then it doesn't work it fails this is how you would find where the bad PNG is let's say that gave you an error message we can zoom in find that picture that it stopped on and then right click and ripple delete Hopefully, you won't need to do that. Now, we need a master sequence because the pictures go on Blender object, but everything else is going to go on master. So I'm going to create a new sequence, 
same thing here. We call it master. Now with the master sequence, the blender object is going to go at least on the video two track. And then that leaves you room for a background on the video one track. And if you're going to do green screen, then you may need to move that up another one so that you can have you and your background underneath your blender object. Now let's say my 100% is now done rendering. So I'm going to go back to Blender Render and import my 100%. Notice my shadow quality is the standard samples 5. So that's something I'll want to re-render. But I'm going to import this folder and replace my 20% with this better folder filled with pictures. How do I do that? Well, I just go back to Blender Object. It's here. Or you double click on the little icon take my folder filled with the 100% ones and just drop it right on top of that one. And now I have a large one that shows up on my master here. So we'll do backgrounds next.